Hello everyone, welcome to the third video lecture on Laplace transforms. In the previous classes, we saw introduction to Laplace transforms, inverse Laplace transforms and first shifting theorem. In this session, we will be learning about Laplace transform on derivatives and integrals. However, since this session is lengthy, you will be getting this video in two parts, that is 3a and 3b. So after completing 3a, go to the video 3b to get the complete session. Now let us start with the basic definition of Laplace transform. Remember that L of f of t is integration from 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt. Now using that we obtained the Laplace transform of several functions and we have listed it here. Now consider the Laplace transform of a derivative f dash of t. So by definition it is integration from 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f dash of t dt. We can do this problem using the product rule for integration. So writing it as the first function into integral of second minus integral of derivative of first into integral of second form we get e raised to minus st into f of t minus which has uh, limits from 0 to infinity and the integration from integration minus s e raised to minus st f of t dt. When we substitute infinity, we can see that e raised to minus infinity is 0. So that part is 0. And when we substitute 0, we get 1 into f of 0. Then in the second part, if we take minus s outside, we get plus s into integration from 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt, which is precisely the uh, definition of Laplace transform of f of t. That is, you can obtain L of f dash of t, which we are actually finding here, as s into L of f of t, since we already saw that integral from 0 to infinity raised to minus st f of t is dt is L of f of t and minus f of 0. Now, if we use the te technique once again for f double dash of t, we can see that L of f double dash of t uh, is equal to s into L of f dash of t minus f dash of 0. Here we can see that this part that is L of f dash of t is what we obtained before that is s into L of f of t minus f of 0. So inserting that part to here we can see that s into it is s square it becomes s square into l of f of t minus s into f of 0 minus f dash of 0. Once again let us repeat it for f triple dash of t. We have l triple dash of t, uh, Laplace transform of f triple dash of t contains a term l of f double dash of t which we obtained in the previous step which is s square into l of f of t minus s into f of 0 minus f dash of 0. So substituting that here we can obtain or we get it as s into sorry s cube into l of f of t minus s square into f of 0 minus s into f dash of 0 minus f double dash of 0. Here you can see that that s cube, s square, s and s raised to 0 are appearing in different terms. And also you can see f double dash of 0, f dash of 0 and f of 0 in different terms. Now using this we can have a generalized formula that is Laplace transform of the nth derivative of uh, f of t is in this form. So here you can see that s raised to n into l of f of t minus s raised to n minus 1 into f of 0 minus etc up to the n minus 1th derivative of f evaluated at 0. Now using this it is possible to find l of sin square of t. Now the method is very simple that if you don't know the Laplace transform of one function, you keep on differentiating that function until you get a function whose Laplace transform is known. For example, here we have sin square t. So taking the derivative, you can see that it's, it is sin 2t whose Laplace transform is known, which means that you can have L of f, f, de, f dash of t. L of f dash of t is uh, from the table you can see that it is 2 by s square plus 2 square. <coughs> so 
So let us use the Laplace transform of the first derivative of a function. The formula of Laplace transform of a first derivative. That is L of f dash of t is equal to s into L of f of t minus f of 0. Since we are in need of L of f of t, I am going to interchange the uh, sides. That is, let us have s into L of f of t minus f of 0 is equal to L into f dash of t. Here you need f of 0. Since we have f of t is equal to sin square t, we have f of 0 is equal to 0. So, substituting everything, uh, we get s into L of f of t minus f of 0. I already told that it is equal to 0. So, it is minus 0 is equal to L of f dash of t. So, we already know L of f dash of t as 2 by s squared plus 4. Now, you have L of sin square t is equal to 2 divided by S, square, S, uh, S into S square plus 4. So, this technique is very simple. You have to keep on differentiating your function until you get a function whose Laplace transform is known. So consider another function. Here, let us take f of t is equal to t sin a t. And what about the derivative of it? It is f dash of t into sin a t plus a t cos a t then uh, using pr product rule and uh, we know that uh, its Laplace transform is not easy as we don't know the Laplace transform of t cos t. So, let us take one more derivative. So, you will get f double dash of t is equal to a cos t plus a cos t minus a square t sin t. Now, which is actually which is equal to 2 times a cos t minus uh, a square into we know that t sin t is actually f of t. Now, I can say that the Laplace transform of this function is known. Since we can write L of f double dash of t is equal to uh, Laplace transform 2a cos t that is 2a into uh, cos a t has a Laplace transform s by s square plus a square minus a square into Laplace transform of f of t is L of f of t. So, let us use the formula for the Laplace transform of second derivative of a function. That is L of f double dash of t is equal to s square into L of f of t minus s into f of 0 minus f dash of 0. Once again, we interchange the sides. So, that we get s square into L of f of t minus s into f of 0 minus f dash of 0 on LHS and L of f double dash of t on RHS. So, Writing that we have s square into L of f of t minus now we need f of 0 and f dash of 0. So, substituting it there we have f of 0 is equal to 0 and f double dash of 0 equal to 0. So, coming back we have the LHS contains only s square into L of f of t and the RHS we already obtained it as 2 a s by s square plus a square minus a square into L of f of t. So, you can see that L of f of t in is on both sides. So, taking everything to the left hand side, the terms containing L of f of t to the left hand side and taking the outside, we get L of f of t into a square plus a square is equal to 2 a s by a square plus a square, which means we have the Laplace transform of t sin t is equal to 2 a s by a square plus a square the whole square. So, we obtained the Laplace transform of t sin a t here. Similarly, you can see that you can obtain the Laplace transform of t cos a t also. So, we can expand our table of Laplace transform of different functions we obtained uh, so far by adding this t sin a t and t cos a t here. That is we have a new table available with us. Now, it can be used to take the inverse transform of several other functions. So, consider capital F of s is equal to 1 by s square plus s square the old square function. Here, we apply uh, one simple technique by replacing 1 with uh, 1 by 2a square into 2a square. Because uh, we can see that this s square plus a square minus s square minus a square gives you 2a square. 
so you can uh, uh, replace this one as 1 by 2a square into 2a square and the remaining parts in the given function as a square plus a square the whole square since you can replace 2a square with a square plus a square minus a square minus a square we have the given capital f of s is equal to 1 by 2a square into a square plus a square minus a square minus a square the whole divided by a square plus a square the whole square now separating it to two parts you can obtain 1 by 2a square into uh, 1 by a square plus a square in one part and uh, minus 1 by 2a square into a square minus a square by a square plus a square all square in the second part here it is represented by taking 1 by 2a square common outside now you can see that 1 by a square plus a square has an inverse Laplace transform of 1 by a sin at from the table and for the other part it is t cos at so we get the final answer 1 by 2 square uh, 2 a square 1 by a sin at uh, minus t cos at now let us do one more problem here we need to take the inverse Laplace transform of s cube by s square plus a square the whole square here you can write s cube as s into s square and then modify that s square to s square plus a square minus a square so that the given expression becomes s into s square plus a square minus s into a, a square all divided by a square plus a square the whole square separating it to two parts we have s into s square plus a square by s square plus a uh, a square all square minus s a square by a square plus a square the whole square now can you find out the corresponding inverse laplace transforms for these two terms here you can see that the first term is just uh, s by a square plus a square for which from the table you can see that the inverse laplace transform is cos at and what about the second term the second term has an s on the numerator and a square plus a square the whole square in the denominator or a square is some constant so there is some 1 by 2a is missing when compared to t sin at hence we can obtain the final answer as cos at minus a square into t sin at by 1 by 2a now after cancelling a we get cos at minus a by 2 t sin at as the final answer now to reduce the length of the video of this session the laplace transform on integrals will be available as a different video with the name 3b so please go to that video thank you